Welcome! In this video, you're going to learn all about Forgotten Runiverse. From starting your own character, to crafting your first set of armor, and finally how you can win limited edition items and mint them onto the blockchain. To get started, head to game.runiverse.world and create an account. All you need is an email address, and the game plays directly in your browser so you don't need to download anything. Next, you'll need to create a character. There is a basic character creation screen, so you can customize your character to fit your own style. If you happen to own a wizard or a warrior, do not worry, you can equip these later as skins directly in the game, but they are not necessary as the game is completely free to play. When you first load into the Runiverse, you're going to want to talk to this man here. He will act as your guide through the wizard encampment, giving you valuable tips on the game's mechanics, like how every item in the game requires a mixture of both gathered materials and materials gained through battle in order to craft. He'll then provide you the materials you need to craft your first piece of gear at the forge and your first spells at the mage workshop. Next, you'll get to try your hand at the Font of Memory. This is where players will have the chance to win big prizes like land plots and builder's crates. It always costs 50 mana in order to use the Font of Memory. Usually, mana is obtained by dumping your old and unwanted items at the temple. But your guide will provide you with 50 free mana for your first attempt. Next, it's time to learn combat. Head to the training grounds and speak to your guide. There, he'll explain to you Forgotten Runiverse's unique and engaging battle mechanics before sending you off to your first battle. The dummy will attempt to put up a fight, but you'll quickly take him down and earn a new spell recipe in the process. Now, this doesn't mean that you'll have the spell right off the bat. You'll first need to inscribe the spell recipe and then finally craft the spell. Now you're ready to begin exploring the Runiverse, but you are just level 1, so you won't be able to take on any dungeon bosses just yet. The world map is split into separate biomes, each with their own environment, enemies, and enemy-based materials. But each area is rated on its difficulty, so you'll always know exactly where to go based on your level. Keep in mind that each new area you go to will have two quests that you can complete. These quests are very important as they will provide you with new spell and gear recipes that will make your character much more powerful. Now you can begin exploring the territory, gathering materials, battling monsters for their sweet loot, and leveling up so you can go head to head with the dreaded cockatrice. I recommend not taking on this fight until you're level 5, so you're going to want to spend some time killing the other monsters first. After you are able to defeat the cockatrice, you can then complete your quests and begin crafting the new item recipes you've received. These new spells and gear will make you much more powerful and allow you to move on to the next territory to take on even bigger challenges. As for your old gear, well you can take them to the temple and burn them for a sweet mana return. And when you have enough mana, you can return to the font of memory to try your hand at one of those big prizes. Now, as you become a higher level, you'll begin unlocking items of a higher rarity. And the higher the rarity is, the more mana you'll get in return when you burn it. Now, something to keep in mind is that the Font of Memory does have a pity system. It counts every time you make an attempt, and after 250 tries, you are guaranteed to win a land plot. Even if you get lucky multiple times on your way up, you are still guaranteed to win a land plot at 250 tries. If you want to see your past rewards, click on this button in the top left. This is where you can manage your Web3 assets, like your NFT skins, builder's crates, land plots, and collector's cards. To mint an item, simply click on it, click mint, and confirm in your Ronin wallet. My favorite aspect about this game is partying up with my friends to take down big bosses, so you're definitely going to want to know how to use the party system. Click the button on the bottom right of the screen and a brand new menu will appear. Then simply type your friend's name into the box, click invite, and once they accept the application, you'll be good to go. A good rule of thumb is to party up in the wizard encampment before traveling out to your desired destination. And when you and your friends are high enough level, you can challenge yourselves with the Witch of the Wild Dungeon. These monsters are incredibly tough, but drop some of the best loot in the game. 
And with that, good luck, and I'll see you around the Runiverse.